It's time for Thriller Thursdays here on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated PG for parental guidance recommended. Come on. Come on. Come on, idiot. Boost up the phaser cannons. And that, as they say, is game over. And now it's potty time on the old spaceship. Okay. So, no TP on the roll. I know I have some stocked away. That's not right, I had six rolls stashed away. This is not a good thing. Chandler, hey, I need some TP, someone took mine. No time. You better have time. I have business to attend to and no TP to take care of it. There are more important things going on besides your bowels. <laughs> Name one. There's activity on the moon. They've moved their position. So what? That still doesn't change the fact that I need to go to the toilet. Chandler! This log is to the future ex Mrs. Keaton. Hi. Honey, Dr. Lynn Keaton talking to you. I hope our future divorce is going well, whoever you may be. I'm coming to you from the space battle cruiser, the Midnight Angel. This is Earth's bright idea on keeping watch on the aliens who landed on the moon two years ago. They've moved positions for the first time in those two years and everyone is losing their minds. Not to go into too much detail, but I have some more pressing matters with a toilet appointment, but I can't find any TP on the ship more later. Hey, hey, Doc. How goes it? Uh, don't you ever buzz before entering? Nope. I could have been in the middle of something. Like what? Doing your bit for the earth on the toilet? Not likely. You've heard? Oh, yeah. I've heard. Somebody took my stash, Fresco. My one and only TP stash. Because you talk about it all the time to anyone who'll listen. Have you heard about what's going on up top? Uh, yeah. Something about the aliens have moved their positions on the moon. And? So what? I'm about to have a serious health issue here. What do I care about some alien life forms who won't talk to us and ignore our presence orbiting above them 24 hours a day? They don't care, so I don't care. I need TP. I'm only an ag tech. I can't help you. But not to be totally gross about it, you can get me the hookup on some foliage to help me out in a dire time of need. I'm an ag tech, Doc. I don't run the gardens. Just get me a leaf, Fresco. I'm more interested in what the aliens are up to. I want to know why we can't have some human dignity on this bucket of bolts. Human dignity? Come on. It's a basic human right to be able to do our business with adequate toilet paper. You're losing it. Maybe you should prescribe something for yourself so you can calm down. How much? For a leaf? How much, Fresco? I'm out of here, Doc. I want to see if anyone has the gossip from the bridge to see what's going on down there on the moon. Fresco? Later, Doc. I hate you, Fresco! Okay, this has just reached critical mass. I am on a mission as of right now. Chandler, where is Dr. Keaton? What are the aliens doing? You're one of the communications officers. You tell me. They won't let me up on the bridge. I wonder why. Have you been up there? No. I've got other things to do. What's more important than preparing for a security alert? I mean, you are security, yes? I have to discuss a matter with our roguish Dr. Keaton. He was upset about not finding any toilet paper. We have plenty. What's he talking about? This is a spaceship in orbit around the moon for possible years to come. Of course we have toilet paper. He can't find any. And you? What about me? For a communications officer, you don't communicate very well. Not my job. I just make sure the system works. I can see why you're down at the bottom rank. Do you even hold rank? Not yet. See? But I will. Maybe you should be assigned to locating our missing TP. Just tell me where Dr. Keaton is. I have no idea. Do you really not know what the aliens are doing? No, I don't. Not my pay grade. Apparently. But finding Dr. Keaton is... Excuse me. 
you're excused. I'm thinking shuffleboard on the aft deck. That is impossible. You're always shooting down my ideas. I analyzed the safety measures on the ship, Silva. Yes, and I'm the relations officer who can't plan anything for rest and relaxation without you saying no. It's part of my programming. Yes, but part of you is human, Bella. Your human self is down in there somewhere. I'm also locked into the computer system of the Midnight Angel, and it's a hazard to play shuffleboard on the aft deck. A dance. On the aft deck? Yes! No. Bella, your neurobots have forgotten what it's like to have a good time. The tech in my body balances that part of me. You're a party pooper. I'm looking out for the safety of the crew and the ship. Lynn! Silva? Dr. Keaton? Hey there, Bella. I have a question for all the humans in the room. Rude. He's only teasing. How do you know? My emotor sensors gave me that reading. I'm correct, aren't I? Yes. I'm indeed emoting. Sarcasm? That too. Not to put too fine a point on it, but I need some toilet paper. Stat. Dr. Keaton! We've all been issued our month's supply. Mine has been stolen, and there isn't one square left on this bucket of bolts. This is not a bucket, Dr. Keaton, and certainly not of bolts. Neurobots take all the fun out of life. That's what I told her. What do you think about having a dance on the aft deck? Unsafe. Don't care. I have a biological function to focus on here. Please assist. I have no need of that particular product as my tech ejects any waste materials. Lucky you! Humans don't have that luxury. I'm about to ruin my uniform here. How about shuffleboard? Not on the aft deck, Silva. Hello? To quote the kids on Earth, I'm about to poop my pants. There is not need to resort to childish vocabulary, Dr. Keaton. Apparently, there is. Check the supply office. I have. My human dignity is at stake. Not a concern for me. Just how much human is left in there, Bella? Enough. That doesn't answer my question. Lynn, we don't have any TP here. In your quarters, then. No, forget it. My share is my share. Are you using toilet paper to barter here on the ship? Now what? I have to go to the bridge. What for? The aliens have moved position on the moon. Everyone knows that. Big deal. These are the most boring aliens in the entire galaxy. The captain needs you, Bella? Yes. I am required to analyze any messages from the aliens. The aliens have finally decided to talk to us? They haven't said a word the entire time we've been here. You misunderstand. They haven't sent a broadcast. He needs me there in case they do. She gives me the creeps. I think she's cute. You would. So, no help finding some TP. I'm trying to plan our social events for the next month. I'm busy. You're heartless. That's why you broke it off, as I remember. Silva, now is not the time to discuss old flames. Just for your information, calling me an old flame is pushing it. Maybe an old spark or something like that, but an old flame... I was being nice. How does that feel? That's a first for you, isn't it? Okay. Okay. So, I'm not the best person to have a relationship with. Relationship? Shall I define the word for you, Lynn? No! Help me find some toilet paper before I embarrass everyone on this ship. Dr. Keaton! There you are. Don't move. Do you have any toilet paper? Come with me. Right now. Hi, Maya. Silva, are we going to be able to do shuffleboard on the aft deck? No. Bella says it's unsafe. The dictator. I know, right? Bye, Lynn. Where are you taking me? Oh, you'll see. Have you seen Keaton? No, but he's dying to find someone with some toilet paper. Don't remind me. Hopefully, Maya has found him. Why? Can't say. Not yet. A security issue? You could say that. Dr. Keaton. He's not to be trusted. Trust me. Because he needs toilet paper? Never mind. What's going on up top in the bridge? Not in my pay grade. Not today, anyway. What's the gossip, then? Not much. The captain is doing a need-to-know basis type of thing. Did the aliens leave the moon? No. From what I'm hearing, they just move locations. But no one seems to know why. Are they ever going to make contact with us? Don't know. Do they know we're here watching them? Oh yeah. You can bet your last credit they are. Is that you? Yep. Oh wow. What? Are you getting called to go up top? It looks that way. Weird. 
get all the news you can. For us folks down below here actually running the ship, we're bereft of anything relevant told to us. If I can. Dr. Keaton. Hey, Maya. You finally caught up with him. I did. Where are you going? To the bridge. Tell the captain that his chief medical officer is getting harassed by security. He would approve. He doesn't like you. Dr. Keaton, you need to answer for- No, Fresco, this isn't an agricultural matter. It's for security. I found it. I don't care. We have to have a hierarchy that we follow on this ship. Why? Shut up, doctor. Let's hope you don't get sick anytime soon. I'm gonna put in my report. No, you're not. You will report nothing. Not yet. I have my duty. Wanna do it in the brig? No. Then there's your answer. You're awful frisky today, Maya. You know that? I'll tase you in a minute. I'm gonna complain to someone. Do that. To security. Oh, wait! That's me. Your complaint is duly noted. Now get out of here while Dr. Keaton and I have a heart-to-heart. Fine. What unit is it? Z7. Ring a bell for you? What if I said no? You are so busted. Come on. What about a night of cards? What kind of cards? Poker? There are many variations to think about. Thanks, Bella. What would we do without you? Die. Horribly. I don't know. Bridge. No one knows how to play bridge. Spades? No. I hate that game. Hmm. What's wrong with poker? If I may, I think Silva is trying to keep the conversation from steering toward the night of strip poker the hangar deck technicians had. Oh, yeah. (laughs) It isn't. Funny. The captain barely had a crew on the hangar deck after putting half of them in the brig. And he blamed you. And he blamed me. I had nothing to do with it. Too bad that was when the Admiral ordered a surprise inspection. Five minutes. That's all I needed, but no! The captain started with the hangar deck for his tour inspection. Social events are not necessarily required to run a competent crew on a ship of this make. Oh yes they are, and Silva is in charge of all that. No one cares. Sure we do. It's time the booze is divvied out. The crew loves you. I'm glad my body doesn't crave alcohol. Did it? Once upon a time, when I was completely human. Do tell. There is nothing to tell. Ah, it's that time again. Watering time? What time? Time to water the potatoes, and the carrots, and the peas. I think it's good that we're self-sufficient. Mostly. Must fly, ladies. Vegetables that need my love and attention. I thought it was water. Bella, has anyone told you that you take everything too literally? Often. I don't know why. Everyone else does. Later. What do you think of him? Fresco? An adequate ag technician for the ship. Aren't there any sensors in there that tell you if a man is handsome or not? I had those removed. Why would you do that? Remember my problem with alcohol? Yes. That was the reason for the drinking of alcohol. A man? Something akin to one, yes. Do tell. Most of those memory circuits don't function. Why? I wanted it that way. Don't ask. What do you call this? A garden. Very funny. This, right here. What, right here? This plant. The rows and rows of this plant. It looks like weeds. It is. A very unique weed. Really? You don't say. I do say. And don't play innocent with me. I know what's going on. Maya, please. I could concentrate a lot better if I were allowed to take, well, take care of some business. No! You've been turned in. For what? For growing jimson weed. Jimson weed? Uh, You have got to be kidding me. You're not an actor, Dr. Keaton. Don't even try. It's not an act. I will open an airlock and shoot you out into space. Temper! Temper! You know as well as I do what Jimson weed can be used for. No. Tell me. You're a medical doctor. Playing dumb isn't going to help you with this, Lynn. Come on, Maya, lay off. Maybe we could discuss this over dinner tonight and get that table that looks out over the moon. Don't do that. What am I doing? Playing on my attraction for you. You're attracted to me? You know I am, but that doesn't mean I like you as a person. I could change that. Let's have dinner. Let's discuss how jimson weed is used for created hallucinogenics and goes for quite a bit of money on Earth. Is there a law against growing jimson weed? Well... Is there? For producing an illegal drug, yes, there is. Up here, on the Midnight Angel. We're under the laws of the land up here. I don't synthesize a thing. 
I know what you do. You ship it out on the freighters that bring us supplies. And I can probably guess who you're selling it to. Mackie. How did you... I'm in security! I don't know what he does with it. Oh, yes you do. Not a clue. He just said he wanted Jimson weed, and I told him I had a patch of the ship's gardens for herbs, and I could fill his orders. Playing the idiot doesn't suit you. Does it save me from the brig? For 60% of the cut. What? Outrageous. How about 70, then? 60? Done. And no brig, and you and I form a nice little partnership. You can forget dinner. Come on, don't be a sore loser. At least help me find some toilet paper. Great, now what? I cannot access the computer's mainframe. They've locked you out of it? If you refer to the captain as they, then the answer is yes. What are we supposed to do? Wait. Bella, we need to find out what's going on. I cannot access the computer. Use your neuro-enhanced eyeballs for a change. I see nothing of any concern on the ship. Out the window. I see. No kidding. Are those beacon lights down there on the surface of the moon? Signaling someone? I don't know. Not bright enough for a beacon light, Silva. Are the aliens trying to see something? I have no data for that. I realize that, Bella. I'm just speculating. Something I don't miss. I was loading out fertilizer when the alarm went off. It scared me half to death. What is going on? No clue. There's a light that they've turned on down on the surface. It's been dark down there for months. Now they've turned on a light. That's why the alarm was activated? That's it. How boring is that? What is going on? The aliens have turned on a light on the surface of the moon. You have got to be kidding me. The alarm went off and I nearly, well... Did your business in your pants? Fresco, a little tact. Nope, he's right. I very nearly did. I need to go up top. They won't even let you on the bridge, Maya. Shut up, they will now. I'll go with you. I can interface with the computer and assist the captain. Later, all. Do you ever feel a little useless on this mission? No way. I love what I do. Gardening all day, it's great. I won't be just useless. I'll be dead if I don't find some toilet paper. You need to just calm down. I'm about to drop Fresco some fertilizer right here and now. Have some dignity. Mine has long since been taken from me when I didn't have a roll of teepee to do my business this morning. I'm desperate. How desperate? Silva, you're torturing the man. On a scale of one to... Three million. I could sell you some of mine. Sell me some of yours? Fiend. A lady has to make a living up here. It doesn't matter. Anyways, you don't have any. How would you know? Her room was the first one I checked. You broke into my room? Miss Goody Two-Shoes over here doesn't have a square of the stuff. Someone robbed me of my toilet paper? Well, don't look at me. Fresco, hand it over. Not me. I use nature's own. You what? No, don't explain. The visual would kill me. What are we going to do? We are on a mission to get our dignity back. This is a whole lot more fun than shuffleboard. Let's go. Uh, what about the aliens trying to make first contact? Anyone interested in that? No? Hmm... Oh well. Bella, where is everyone? Everyone being... Anyone. The corridors are clear out there. Most of the crew are watching through the big porthole on the port side of the ship. Did Dr. Keaton find his toilet paper? No, he did not. Do you have news from the bridge? Yeah. And? They wouldn't let me touch the comm system. Why were you summoned to the bridge? To rewire a faulty transmitter unit. Where was it located? In the bowels of the ship. I have no idea what's going on. What'd I miss? The aliens have turned on a light. That's it? And moved their position. It's got to mean something. By my calculations, they've moved approximately 10 meters on the surface of the moon. Why? I don't know. If I did, I would be summoned to the bridge. It's tough being at the bottom of the food chain around here, isn't it? Speak for yourself. Ah. The Neurobot has pride. I most certainly do not. But I do know what I'm capable of, and it isn't being at the bottom of any food chain. Yeah, your tech would strangle anything trying to eat you. This is a true statement. Don't you have a setting in there somewhere so you won't come off as being so cold? The temperature is fine in this area of the ship. You know what I mean, Bella. I made an attempt at humor. You did? Obviously, I failed. No. Now that you've told me, that wasn't too bad. Meaning not good. 
Well, yeah. Just how much human is left in there? I don't wish for this conversation to continue if you don't mind. Why? I, I was just trying to get friendly. Exactly the problem, and I know what your kind of friendliness will lead to with men like you. Hey, I'm offended, Bella. I was... Chandler, what's going on up there on the bridge? He doesn't know. I can answer for myself, thank you. I, I don't know. Told you. Bella, try singing with the computer again. I can try. They wouldn't even give me a hint as to what was going on down on the surface of the moon. Bella, what's going on? I can't sync up with the computer. It won't even allow me to lock into any of the security protocols. Meaning the captain doesn't want any info to leak out? And not yet, anyway. This is ridiculous. We're part of the crew. They should inform us of what's going on. What's that? Ow. That actually hurt my sensors. I take it the mainframe computer said no to your request. In a manner of speaking, yes. I'm completely shut out of the system. Then that must mean it's big. I can't see anything down there on the moon. Those aliens are just playing with us. I doubt they even know we're alive. They've ignored us for months now. Where is the doctor? With security trying to get his dignity back. Why? It's at times like these of high alert that it's good to know where the chief medical officer is. With all your neurobiotic replacements, I'm sure you're on a first name basis with half the medical community. Not all these replacements, as you call them, were by choice. Sorry. You should be. I didn't realize you were sensitive. I still have emotions. Some of them, anyway. I apologize again. Wait a minute. Look! What now? The aliens turn on another light? No. They turned the one they had on, off. What does that mean? That they turned off their light. Bella, sometimes... What? You act too human for my taste. Somehow I doubt that. Bella. Out of the way! It looked like he was about to die. Close. He's had some bowel issues today. I think everyone knows about it. The aliens shut off their light down there. So what? They're starting to bore me. Does anyone feel like a game of cards or Twister? Twister? What's that? A game popular in the 20th century. Forget it. I've got plants to water. So really, where was the doc headed? I told him that there was a toilet paper surplus hidden in airlock C. Is that true? Not that I know of. Maya! He should ration a share of the TP on the ship, just like the rest of us. He has been. There's a hoarder on the ship. How do you know? I witnessed him breaking into rooms and taking other people's supply. Why didn't you report him? It seemed... how shall I put it? A bit out of my rank and station. I have no idea what you're talking about, Bella. Oh, wait a minute. But, Bella, you're a neurobot who has access to everything and everybody on this ship. Not always. I'm getting an idea of who it is. You've got to be kidding me. Would someone please clue me in? I couldn't report it as I would have had to turn in the chief officer on the vessel. <laughs> no way. That's hysterical. <laughs> I didn't find it humorous. I found it rather disturbing. The captain is a teepee hoarder. Wait, I think it's time for a security check. Right now? What better time with the bridge focused on the moon? She lied to me. Maya, I'm going to have to have bow surgery. I'm gonna kill her. You know what? Death is too good for her. Ah! Hey, Doc. Have we got some relief for you. And some dignity as well. Maya, for your information, there isn't- I know, I know. What's that you're holding? I would think that's obvious, Dr. Keaton. You've seen better days, Lynn. Shut up. Give me that toilet paper. This toilet paper? Yes. Can't you see I'm at death's door here? How much? Now, Maya. Maya, he's suffered enough. That's right. You've already ripped me off once today. How's that? Never mind. Let him have it, Maya. Fine. Here. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Now get out of my way. Where are you going? If that isn't the stupidest question ever. He needs the little boy's room. He'll have to wait. What? The captain wanted me to purge the water systems on the ship. When did he do that? I was with you. Fresco, shut up! Then you better open an airlock for me, because I am going to go no matter what. Out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> Log entry. Dr. Keaton isn't speaking to the rest of us after his toilet paper incident. It offered a much needed distraction from the alien activity. I can't tell the others, but I know why they needed the light on the surface of the moon.
You've been listening to Stage Struck Audio Theater's production of Midnight Angel, Crisis. In the cast, as Bella, Madison Rotes. Fresco, Dane Foster. Silva, Amanda Kuhn. Chandler, Trevor Browser. Maya, Katie Smith. Dr. Keaton, Drew Thomas. Script by Brett Jones. Original music by Skinny Hightower for Trippin' and Rhymes Records and Vane Productions. Stage Struck Audio Theater is a production of the Wichita State University Theater Department. Hello, I'm John Bell of Bells in the Bat Free. It's a comedy podcast. Fridays and every other Sunday. Well, anyway, back in episode five of Bells in the Bat Free, we introduced the cowlets, tiny little cows. Where did all these cats come from? They're not cats, they're cows, and they're heading toward the water cooler. Stop it before. Now you can display your love of these tiny cows with genuine cowlet t-shirts. You know what's really fun to do with these shirts? Get a whole bunch of people to buy them. Then you all gather together and run down the street. People will see these cowlets coming toward them and think it's a stampede. You think that would really work, Brad? Shh, I'm pushing for bulk sales here. You can also get cowlet mugs, clocks, and other items. Just go to thebatfree.com and click on shop. This is a limited time offer. No, it's not. You just do not not understand advertising, do you? Get your merchandise today with the official Cowlet design created by Jeff Music. Buying lots of them would bring music to my ears. Oh, stop. Stop.